to George, the curious little monkey. He's so full of curiosity. Here's to George, the curious little monkey. He's as curious as curious can be. Curious George and the organ grinder. There's a street festival today, George, said the man with the yellow hat. Let's go and have a look. They got into their little blue car and drove to the city. There were crowds of people in the street. Music was playing and the smell of many different foods filled the air. Stay right here while I park the car, said the man, and don't get into trouble. There was Mr. Carvelli, the organ grinder, with his little friend Peppy. Peppy was a monkey just like George, only smaller. He wore a red cap and was holding a shiny tin cup in one hand. On his other hand, he was wearing two finger symbols. When Mr. Carvelli played the organ, Peppy danced. But very few people dropped coins into his tin cup. George hadn't seen another monkey for a long time. Neither had Peppy. While Mr. Carvelli turned to talk with some children, George and Peppy wandered off together. Soon, they came to a fruit stand filled with oranges, apples, and bananas. Just a thing for two hungry monkeys. The owner of the stand was busy and didn't see them. George sneaked over, reached up, and grabbed a big bunch of yellow bananas. When the fruit man turned around, he saw the two monkeys. Hey, you're stealing my fruit, he shouted. Grab them, cried the man. George and Peppy disappeared into the crowd. Now they were safe. Finally, they sat down on a bench and started to eat their bananas. Peppy put his tin cup between George and himself. People started gathering around. Peppy clicked his little cymbals, and George got up and danced. Look at those cute monkeys, said a man, and dropped two silver coins into Peppy's tin cup. Soon, George and Peppy were surrounded by a crowd of people. Peppy kept clicking away, and George kept dancing. Lots of coins were dropped into his tin cup. There were so many coins in the cup that they fell on the ground. Peppy took off his red cap and put it down. More coins were dropped in. George! Peppy! There you are! It was Mr. Carvelli, the organ grinder. The fruit man came rushing over, too. They stole my fruit, he shouted. But they're giving us a good show, said a lady in the crowd. Don't be too angry with them. Look at all the money they made. Angry, said Mr. Carvelli. It looks as if they collected more coins today than I did in a week. <laughs> then Mr. Carvelli took some money and gave it to the fruit man. This will pay for the bananas, he said. Well, I guess that settles that, said the fruit man. Mr. Carvelli turned to George. You can join us anytime, he said. You two make a good team. Just then, the man with the yellow hat came through the crowd. I've been looking all over for you, George, he said. Looks like you've had a busy day. They waved goodbye, got in their little blue car, and drove back home.